Oh, here we have um, the famous Peg Ribari, who's got an amazing salon in Dallas, Texas, and from Northern California, originally from the New Zealand area, Ian Gave. And um, so um, let's start off. Uh, t what, what, what's, what's happening in Dallas, Texas right now, Peg? What's happening? Yeah, what's happening in here? Is it, is it exciting? I mean, is it new things? What's happening in here? It's big. It's, it's not big. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's big, right? It's big and blonde. Yeah, but, well, it is blonde, but that's a misconception. Oh, it's all good. It's, it's, this, it's pretty much the same as here in California, actually. Except, and it, for, except for the Rick Perry here, right? And Ian, yeah. uh, I'm asking you sort of like a, a strange questions, but I mean, what, what, what does the first project mean to you? Have you studied, have you thought about it? I think the one thing that strikes me is every drop of water that will ever be on Earth is already here. It's a distribution situation. And while we abuse it, uh, like washing cars or whatever without thought for people who are like while we're here this evening 18,000 children in Africa will die of starvation or thirst mm -hmm. something around That's those crazy. so when you think about water it's distribution it's how do we share the wealth and water is more valuable than oil because when oil's gone we're going to still need water yeah. you know so to me that is it's distribution of water that's amazing. So, so as a human being, I feel we have a responsibility. So everything you just said is absolutely correct. So what is your responsibility to give back? Well, every time I have a, a bottle of water, I, I can't transport that water over there. I can't look at it and say, oh, I wish I could get that to a child who needs it. But we can help fund resources who can find water in the places we can help agriculture that will draw weather to areas and bring rain. Because again, it's like when you talk about global warming and, and people go, oh, it's the coldest winter we've ever had. That's global warming. You know, evaporation of the oceans, trans goes around the jet stream, dumps on somewhere else and people go, it's not, you know, it's, uh, so it's distribution. So we've got to find a way to get this water to people who need it. So let me make it easy for you since obviously we are part of the Thirst Project and Beauty Gives Back and uniting the yeah. beauty industry to come together. Um, you know, in, in Beauty Gives Back we, we ask hairdressers to donate a day of education and in doing that we can fill the room with tons of students while you're educating them they're paying for that education and all that money goes straight to building a well. And so by committing to that one you're giving raising awareness and two you're raising funding. Uh, and, and let me ask you, Peg, um, how, how about the Thirst Project for you? Are you following? Oh, absolutely, yeah. And I think I totally agree with everything Ian said. He said so much. So but awesome. there are so many things that people can do that I see them wasting water, leaving the tap on when they're washing their hands or when they're brushing their teeth. Or I had someone that was leaving the water on at the shampoo bowl the other day. And I said, don't leave it running because there's so many people that don't have water and you need to be aware of that you need to help and give back in that way and, and don't abuse it well that's fantastic we're going to let you guys go in and mash it up a little bit so um this is uh peg ribari from dallas texas and from northern california mr ian gave and uh, we'll be right back